Hey guys, uh, this is Paul here. Thought I'd take a couple minutes to update everybody since I've been a little distant on here about um, Stormwatch, winter production, and backup handoff um, in the event of power outages. So had some winter time here to experiment with uh, the two Powerwall system. Again, this is a Powerwall Plus, a Powerwall 2 Plus, I should say, and then just a standard Powerwall 2, kind of the same thing. You can see the inverters on top of the uh, Powerwall Plus system right there, um, hooked together nicely. And there's a four kilowatt, uh, 12 panel solar system on the roof. Um, not doing a lot right now in December, so in Western Washington, but uh, yeah. So real quick to hit those three things. I know there's a lot of questions and curiosity about Stormwatch. So I thought I'd share my experience now that we've gone into that mode a few times. Um, it is enabled on the app for me. Um, one of the few settings you have to turn on and off. Always had it on. Didn't come on at all throughout the summer, even with windstorms and weird stuff happening. Um, we've had it come on three times now in the last 45 days in Western Washington for various kind of wind, predicted wind events and winter weather events. Interestingly, they haven't been like every severe weather alert through the weather service. So really seems like Tesla picks and chooses which one's gonna put you into Stormwatch. But I can verify from firsthand experience that with my setup, um, it immediately charges the power walls from the grid within the course of, you know, a short amount of time when Stormwatch comes on to 100%. So at one point I had my backup settings around 85%. Um, so they were sitting there since I wasn't producing much um, and it charged them both up to 100% almost, you know, within an hour. So it pulled a bunch from the grid and charged them up. So that was awesome to see that that actually worked. Um, a couple of my neighbors have the systems now too, and I was able to verify that it does work kind of across the board for us in this area. So great to see. Um, moving into backup performance, we've got a couple of short outages, like five to 10 minutes. Um, it's pretty seamless when it transitions to Powerwall backup power from the grid. Um, definitely notice a flicker, not enough. Uh, a priority for me is does it trip baby monitors and uh, baby sound machines at night? It's very important at this stage of life. Uh, for me personally, <laughs> first world problems, it, it, it actually doesn't. So it's able to usually retain power unless there's like a crazy flickering situation. Um, or like kind of a weird single phase outage. Almost every time it's retained the, um, the power to all like appliances and major systems. So other weird thing to note when there's an outage, um, the minimum time that it goes to backup seems to be five minutes. So even if the outage is for like a second and all the neighbor's houses lights are still on that don't have backup, um, it's interesting that ours is still on power wall power for that full five minutes, I think then to kind of give you the runway in case there's additional flickering going on. So something interesting to note on backup power. Last thing is we have all LED lights of different like Edison and like normal types in our house. And um, those some of those lights don't love the battery power. Some of them kind of oscillate and flicker a little bit weird. So we've determined most of those are like, Edison lights, either a GE brand or a Philips. So just experiment with light bulbs. And if you notice things flickering, that seems to be normal and expected from a couple other people I've talked to. So um, last thing is, I did have a couple questions in the comments about production in the winter. Um, and uh, at this stage, in October, our average production with this four kilowatt panel system was around five kilowatts in the whole month, uh, well, per day, sorry, five per day throughout the whole month of October. November was closer to three average per day. And now in December, it's been dismal. And like, I mean, the sun goes down around like 2 p.m. over the mountains here. And I mean, it doesn't come up till 7.30 or something. So it's a short day, but I mean, we're averaging less than two kilowatts production right now. So, um, and again, that's with four kilowatts, you're gonna get double if you have the eight uh, kilowatt. Um, solar array. But anyway, just to note, you're not going to be producing a lot. I actually opted to switch ours to backup only our system so that we could just retain that hundred percent because we're not really producing much at all. So, um, anyway, 
that's uh, kind of my updates on um, a couple of various winter aspects of living with power walls. But I mean, it's been great to know that nothing um, causes an outage and we have a ton of runway. When the backups did come on, the new app estimates how long based on your current usage you have. And usually our estimates were above 36 hours with two power walls. And we were pretty big, fairly big, not super efficient overall footprint of our house. So um, yeah, I felt okay about that. So anyway, done talking at you guys for the time being. Feel free to ask any questions. I'll try to get to answers as quick as I can here and there. And um, yeah, if, if you are looking to get a system, love it if you use my referral code that I'll pop in the uh, uh, description. And I appreciate everybody watching. Please let me know what kind of content you'd like to see next. Take care.